welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're going to do a February recap of the budget. Where do we stand? What happened? And what I got paid off. Need a thumbnail. So February was okay. Nothing dramatic happened except for I had some unexpected expenses that that weren't budgeted for. But we'll start with the beginning. My credit card debt started at $8,631.40. I was able to pay $873 towards my debt. There was some interest charge of $113.48 over all the cards. So my total right now is $7,871.88. I'm not mad about that at all. I wish I could have paid a little more. Um, I was able to put $100 in my savings. Not a huge goal right now to build that savings, but every month I do want to put some money in there. I do have my emergency fund set up, but I'd like to continue, you know, building up that savings account. Um, so that's kind of where I stand. I was able to pay that money. I'm pulling up my notes here in my budget notebook. So first we'll start with what is unexpected. Well, I had a home repair, my water line to my ice maker and my um, refrigerator got a hole in it. And that cost me for the home warranty company to come out was $80 and 63 cents. And then I had to replace two rugs in my kitchen. Now had to is a strong word. One of them had to be replaced. It was ruined from the water, but I wanted them to match. Plus, um, yeah, that's all there is to it. I wanted, I, I like them to match. One goes in front of my sink, one goes in front of the refrigerator. I was able to get them both on a good sale with coupons and everything for $20. So I'm not mad about that. Um, I didn't budget in work birthdays. We, at the beginning of the year, we contribute for all the birthdays on our team. And then we send out, um, now that we're home, we're sending out e-gift cards to everybody. And I didn't budget for that, and I just wanted to pay the whole year. So I went ahead and paid that. Um, I had to pay taxes. So I didn't budget. It's not. This is not an unexpected bill, but this is a bill that I didn't budget for, which I will budget for for next year. Uh, but it cost me $215 to have my taxes done. Now, I will get a lot of comments. Yes, I can do it on my own for my own taxes, but this is business taxes for the YouTube channel. It needs to be done by a professional so that I don't miss potential deductions. It's very important to me and I want them done correctly. I don't know how to do business taxes and she itemizes for me to get me the best rate that I can get. So that was 215, which a portion of that is tax deductible. Um, I ended up owing the city of Pickerington where I live, we pay school district taxes. Now this owing came, became part because of my YouTube revenue. So I need to start saving, which I have set up a savings plan to save up 25% uh, of my YouTube revenue into a separate savings account. So next year, this will all come out of that account, but this year it needed to come out of my account. So I had to pay $7 to school tax and $65 to the city. So in Ohio, I don't know what states everybody's in, but for me, I pay federal tax, I pay state tax, I pay Franklin County, which is a city of, you know, where Columbus is because that's where my work is. So I pay taxes to Franklin County and I live in Fairfield County, so I have to pay city tax as well to Fairfield County. Um, I had paid my Fairfield County tax estimate last year, but I hadn't started for this year. So um, instead of waiting till the end of the year, I'm going to send in quarterly. So I sent in my first quarter, which was $65. It's probably going to go up because month over month, my YouTube revenue is increasing. And so I have to look at that. But that's where this 25% um, will come into play. Any tax uh, monies that I owe come out of that savings. Um, oh, and I had an auto repair. <laughs> I took my car in, there was a recall, um, something with my anti-lock brakes. So they fixed that and then they noticed that my 
caliper pins and something something were dry and I, I don't want to end up having to buy new brakes for my car. So I paid the $188 and had that all done while they had my car up off the ground and tires off and dealing with my brakes. They took care of that. So overall, I mean, that was, you know, $600-ish in non-budgeted expenses that I could have paid towards debt. So that's the frustration, you know, for me. Is it a real frustration? No, but... I was like, oh, I could have paid more. But, you know, this is what's happening. And this is part of the process for me is learning and paying attention because I know I have unexpected bills. It's paying attention to what those unexpected expenses are and start making them expected expenses. And that's where these sinking funds come into play. You know, when I started this process, and mind you guys, I'm only two months into this. But when I started this process, I was like, sinking funds, what do I need sinking funds for? Oh, I need them for coffee and shopping. No, girl, you don't need them for coffee and shopping. Although I will have one for coffee. Let's let's not get crazy. But um, for things that are going to come up that I need to take care of. So I definitely need to create, and I'm gonna write it on my new little list pad here. I definitely need a sinking fund for my tags, for my car registration. Now, again, in Ohio, I can register my vehicle for, I guess it's up to five years now. I will probably do two or three year registration come October, but I need to start saving for that. So I need to make a decision how much is it? I think it's $70. How many years do I want to, to register this car for? And then start putting away that much money a month in this envelope to pay for that come October. Um, and so then I have my little envelopes, which I'm going to be having a giveaway next week of office supplies. And I'm including some of these envelopes I'm going to make for you. So right now, the only... These are my only save sinking funds, but I need to rethink this. So we already know that I need one for my car. Um, I probably should set one up for home repair because I already know that I need to call the repair company out again. And auto repair, I have a, my car is only a year old. So I'm thinking I'm good on the auto repair. I have a warranty and all of that. But that, I'm looking at that as my emergency fund. So I'm saving up here right now. I have one for tech. And look at this envelope. <laughs> but the tech is very specific and dear to my heart. What this is for is when I pay off all my debt, I am allowing myself to buy a new Apple Watch. I have a Samsung watch right now that went with my old phone. And it works perfectly fine, but it's a couple years old. So I want an Apple Watch, but my reward for paying off my debt and paying it off quickly is I get to also save for an Apple Watch. There's only $10 in here. Travel, again, and I'll tell you where this money comes from. But travel, you know, has $25. Eventually, I'll get to leave my house and go somewhere, right? So I have a trip coming up. It's going to be to Ireland. I've been talking about it. I'm hoping in 2022. If everybody gets their vaccine and we all do what we're supposed to do, I'll get to travel to Ireland. And this is just a little bonus money fund for that. It's a little motivator. Um, my Costco envelope has $56 in it. This is for my once a month, once every two months. Um, when I go to Costco and get bigger items, meat. I'm saving up right now for a bunch of red meat. I love their steak and roasts and things. So, um... I did some inventory in my freezer. I've got plenty of pork. I need to go to Costco and get chicken thighs and some steaks to put in my freezer. So I'm saving up for that. I have $56, not bad. And a pet envelope in case the boys need to, you know, see the vet or anything. Right now it just has $15. I also just ordered them $50 worth of cat food. I think they eat better than I do. Um, but... This is for to build up for vets when I have to take them into the vet. And then Christmas, because we all know Christmas comes in December. I'm an early shopper, so I want to be an early saver as well. So right now I have $96. Some of this was carried over from last year. 
Um, but I just put a little bit of money in this every month and build it up. And then in July, usually, June, July, I will start shopping. Although if I came across something today that I thought was a good deal and somebody in my family would love it, then I would buy it today. I, it's not irrelevant to me. But this is my fund. So right now, this is what I'm saving. This is my my funds that I'm saving, you know, up for, for now. I definitely need to add to that. Now, where does this money come from? This money right now in these little envelopes comes from... Um, at the end of the month, oh, I keep hitting my desk. At the end of the month, whatever cash money, cash money, I love saying that, whatever cash I have in my wallet. So I take out money for groceries every two weeks. I take out um, miscellaneous. I, I have all these little, you know, shopping miscellaneous. I just have either food money or miscellaneous money. I can't overcomplicate things for myself. I know me. So I allot myself $100 in groceries, this paycheck, and $100 of miscellaneous. Meaning if I'm out and I need something, um, household or shopping, I need to determine, but that's my allowance for personal things for me. Um, and that could be household products. It could be, um, Typically not personal care because we talked about this already. All of that I have well stocked in my house. This year, I, other than toilet paper, trash bags, and dish soap, I should not have to buy another cleaning product or household product or personal care items. You know, for the most part, I'm well stocked from my couponing days. So um, I don't budget for any of that this year because I don't need to purchase any of that this year. I've got plenty of shampoo, care product. Now I may see it here at the Dollar Tree and pick it up here and there if it's a name brand and that just goes into my stockpile. Um, but things like car registration, Christmas, travel, I had an envelope for my bike and I emptied that out when I took my bike in and got it all fixed up for the spring and things like that. I'll have an envelope and as I am budgeting each month, and looking at all my expenses, because literally in here I write down, these are my bills that I pay, and over here I write down all my expenses, like groceries. This month, I didn't have a lot to go into my envelope for my grocery budget, because I spent like $99.50 in groceries, um, which it happens for me. So some of my keto stuff I need to purchase in bulk or I, I don't need to, but I do. So I don't buy keto sweetener every single month. I don't buy um, big bulk meat every single month or every week. You know, I there are certain things that can go to Costco and buy a large quantity of like butter. A four pack of butter is like $7 at Costco. Heck yeah, I'm gonna get it there. I have four packs in my freezer right now. I don't need that for a couple months. So the things that I don't need at Costco or bigger bulk items or restocking. So in this month, in February, I needed to like replenish some supplies that I just needed a food. You know, I needed ketchup, mayonnaise. No, I didn't get mayonnaise yet. I needed like things, barbecue sauce, ketchup, cheese, just certain items. So I restocked some of the coffers, if you will, the food pantry. So yeah, I'm not I'm not mad at February. I wish I could have put more in February, but that's okay. Um, we're in March now, and March is looking good. I don't. Other than I do need to call the electrician out. Um, I think one of my fuse breaker thingies went bad, or the wire, something. I don't know. I'll call them. Um, but this month I do have my Amazon Prime membership coming out and I do pay that yearly. I have, that's not on my thing. I, oh, I also did, um, last month my FabFitFun subscription box, which I think I'm going to cancel for now, not forever. I'm not, and I'm, here's the deal. I'm not, I'm not locking myself down so tight that I don't have any enjoyment in life, but I, I want to try other subscription boxes. So I think I'm done with FabFitFun after this box is delivered here next week and then see what else is out there. I saw a book box that looks fabulous. So we'll see. I don't need to have subscriptions, but I also, you know, it's something I enjoy. I'm looking at my bills because today happens to be payday and I paid all my bills. I have them separated into check one and two. I don't get paid twice. I mean, I do get paid sort of twice a month. 
I get paid every other week, which is different than being paid twice a month. Honestly, I would prefer being paid on the 1st and the 15th every month. Just for budgeting purposes, I think that would be easier, but it's fine. It is what it is. So I have, I break down my bills into check one and check two uh, for the month. When I have a bonus check, which will be the next couple months, I think April might have a third paycheck. It doesn't always work out that way for me. My mortgage is always on the 12th that comes out of my account. So I have to make sure my car payment, my mortgage, those are my two big ones, need to be on separate pay cycles. So what I do is I'll sit down and say, okay, well, paycheck number one this month covers the 5th through the 18th. What is due in this window of the 5th through the 18th? What are my due dates? That becomes what I pay on check one. Check two then will become the 19th to the 1st of April. What is due in that window between the... Um, you know, these two months, that becomes my check two. When I have a check three in there, typically what happens is I have half and half. So I'll just pay a little extra on bills and savings and things. But I can't say, well, this is a free check because it depends on the date of the check and what bills are due within that date. Eventually, once I get this credit card paid off, I would love to be a month ahead on all my bills, meaning have the money sitting in my checking account for the next month's bills. So I'm not having to bone budget paycheck to paycheck. I will have bone, you know, I will have the money in there and rolling. I'm not there yet, guys, please. Right, right now I sit down with each check that comes in and my checks aren't always the same. I do have ancillary income. There's a, a base. My check will never be lower than X. But I get bonus, sometimes some overtime. So it fluctuates a little bit. So what I need to do is each check, I look at it and I say, okay, here's what I have. Here's my main base bills that have to be paid each month on this check and this check. What else, how much money above that do I have and where can that go? It's like a zero base budget, but I do give myself a buffer. So yeah, that's it. So I think February is pretty good. I'm excited. I was able, like I said, to pay down $873. My goal is a thousand, but you know, I can't always get to that thousand. Um, YouTube revenue was good with the YouTube revenue. I was able to, um, open up a secondary savings account. I took $370 from my YouTube revenue and was able to put that towards bills as well. That went into my bill. Um, I left kind of a nice chunk sitting in as a buffer, I don't know how much I'm spending monthly at the Dollar Tree and that all now comes out of that account. But usually what I do is I'll say, okay, I can, I'm going to save this in this, in the YouTube account and this can go to pay bills and I pay it, pay on a bill with that. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm pretty happy. I'm happy to see March come and I hope this is helpful for you and you guys can learn along with me because this is a learning curve. I will tell you. I've always been the type of girl to just pay it. Oh, this is how much I have. Let's just pay the bills. And then whatever's left. I never really knew what I would have left. It was always a surprise. <laughs> I mean, I always paid my bills. Don't get me wrong. But I sometimes definitely rely too heavily that, I, oh, well, I have money in my savings if I need something, blah, blah. I don't want to be that person. I want to get this debt down. And I want to take control of my spending and not have my spending take control of me. On that happy note, I will say goodbye and I will see you next month when we budget or go over our budget for March. Have a good one. Bye.